Pretty soon we're going to have enough to buy a new TV. You find her? Uh-huh. Still got my Walkman? Probably with the TV by now. Why does she always do that? Seems like every time we get something, she finds some way to mess it up. She's not herself, Thomas. She's nothing! I hooked him up. You got plans Saturday night? What kind of car do you drive? Girl! Happy birthday. Scott, this is Morgan. Hi. Hey. A girl doesn't just become the wife of a franchise player by accident. The next walk couldn't get any worse. I got a physical therapist coming by the house. You call her the miracle worker. Oh, feels good, right? Some women have gaydar. I've got hodar. Leslie, the job is yours. I have an NBA player's career in my hands. You really think you could get me back? Yeah. But you're gonna hate me by the time I'm through with you. I don't even care no more. Oh. There's a rumor going around that Nets aren't gonna resign you. I can't take some player off the bench. You not staying? Have you lost your damn mind? What the? Get up. Leslie, what are you doing? Okay, okay. from half-court swish. <laughs> Let me get another one. Rest of mine. Stop playing. Hi. I'm so sorry I left you. Please give us a chance. No kids. Good teeth. Yes, he just has to be yes. taller than me, college educated, and mm -hmm. not crazy. Or bisexual. But with her busy life... You're being considered for partner. Some of us have to work extra hard just to stay in the game. She didn't think she'd ever find it. Your house is amazing. I love the landscaping. Then you must meet our landscaper. Until she met someone new. Can you just bought her first house? Really? So maybe you could go take a look at her. <laughs> You'll have to leave him in the car. I don't do dogs. Well, neither do I. We're just good friends. Tell me you were landscaping. Brian, this is my baby brother, Nelson. What's happening? Nelson. It's the help. I tried to focus my attention. You're coming with me. We're going hiking. Are you asking me out on a date? I don't even like hiking. Or dogs. There's a whole list. You have no idea. My hair! <laughs> 
don't think this is going any further because it's not. You did what? With who? Well, Kenny. Yes. <laughs> Admit it, girl, you're having fun. I can tell. Now, all her worst fears. Are you sneaking off to the OC? And all her closest family. So what on earth has gotten into you? Are you skiing the slopes? Do not answer that. Are giving her second thoughts. I found your future husband. Well, this is for allowing me to crash your party. He's your ideal black man. And if you don't know what to do with him, girl, pass him on to me. I'm going give him a load of babies. Black ashy baby. Focus Features presents Sanaa Latham. After our fight, we would go our separate ways. It's funny. I had no idea where Monique lived. I really knew nothing about her because we never spoke to each other. We simply hated one another, so there was nothing to say. My first great mind was on other matters. I asked myself, why don't those girls play with me? What's wrong with me? I wore ankle socks. I wore ponytails, too. Oh, there was one difference. But there was absolutely nothing I could do about that. So I began to wonder if that was the reason. And I wished that my skin would lighten, at least to the golden color of my sister's skin. If that happened, maybe I wouldn't be such an outcast. Maybe those girls would play with me some of the time. Monique's skin was just about the same dark brown shade as mine. She was the only other black girl in my class. Those girls didn't play with her either. Her story. The kids that would always come to my to our house because well, we would cook, you know, mm -hmm. at night. And uh, one night, they, they said, "Let's help. Let's let's cook a chicken." And I went in the cook, mm -hmm. and I grabbed the first chicken that I thought was a chicken. Uh -huh. But it was my grandmother Rhode Island hen. Uh -uh. <laughs> and see, just I grab it, I break the neck. Oh, no. And then we skin it. Uh -huh. So we don't have no feathers. Yeah, so we skin it and we cut it up uh -huh. and we put it in a pot and we put all the bananas and stuff up in there and cook one pot. Okay. And the, the next day, when my grandmother got up, she used to feed feed the chicken, and she used to she used to wear some long dress to her ankle, okay. and she used to have um, like lace up shoes. Okay. Then that long dress, under that dress, she had three petticoats. Oh my goodness! Plus she had a long fanny. Okay. And she would stand up there with this long dress, and she had a beautiful figure. Uh -huh. And she would throw the food around her, and the chicken, she's in the middle. Uh -huh. And she feeding the chicken, and she's, where is my Rhode Island hen? I don't see the Rhode Island hen. And she would call me and say, Ellen, did you cook chicken last night? And I, I never did lie to my grandmother. Yeah. I tell her, yeah, I cook it. She said, well, you cook my Rhode Island head. Where's the feather? I said, it's over there somewhere. Sure enough, what's her oh, Rhode Island well. But she didn't beat me because I told her the truth. Stay out of their way. 
thanks to you, I'm almost well enough to walk. I wish I could go from place to place like you. One day you will. I want to give you something. Something given to me by somebody else who had nothing. A S L R. My name N I C O Nico. I don't understand. What? Name? M A L A I K A Malaika That's a pretty name Nico What do they call